Hey Ash, I don't mean any harm. You Ash. clearly have not been training oh, no for this moment. Too. I'm sorry. What I'm a sorry. sad little creature you are. It's a bit mean. Time to play. If only I had to cover him. Hey guys, how are we doing? I have been up all night since the 6 p.m. release of season 13. I have been trying to learn Newcastle as much as possible, and I feel like I'm I'm tired, but I'm I'm at a point where I can really give you guys the best beginner tips and tricks. Obviously, there will be some things coming out that we don't know and that, that are gonna move forward and 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 we can tackle those at a later date. But for now, we're gonna be going over the beginner guide. Now as usual, you guys know, I waffle a bit. I do talk for, you know, the army. So what I do is I'm going to break the video down. First of all, we're going to talk about his abilities. We're going to do a little bit of an overview. Uh, second, we're going to be jumping into firing range. I'm going to be showing you his, t you know, his tactical, his ultimate, describing his passive. Uh, and then I'll show you how I organize his backpack, you know, his equipment choices, what guns I would then use. Uh, and then we'll jump into a game together and we'll play through and, uh, you know, you can see my decisions at no sleep at all. Uh, if you like this video, guys, please consider dropping a subscription. Every time it happens, uh, one shed of tear falls very slowly and s very weirdly slowly down my cheek. But let's get into the video. Newcastle is a phenomenal legend. I am so excited to see him in the ranked um, and the ALGS scene. He is incredible. He's great. He, he basically makes Lifeline useless. He brings a different kind of Gibraltar because we keep seeing that. But we're seeing Gibraltar with technically a moving shield. His ultimate is insane. To use aggressively or defensively, it, it, it is really good. The amount of times I've jumped on someone and done it to catch him by surprise, I've dropped off a little corridor so that so they you know they can't flank us um i've used it defensively to revive a teammate trust me he, this this guy is going to be insane to watch in the algs ranked scene uh, i'm i'm really bloody excited for it to be honest i want to talk about newcastle's finishers now crushing it uh, is actually 5.3 seconds long the finisher 5.3 seconds so you know very negligible to the franchise player which is this one here but essentially what you're looking at is a 5.3 difference to a 5.5 so franchise as i said is 5.5 crushing it is 5.3 there is a secret finisher with bangalore that he has that i think was near on 5.8 seconds i could be wrong i tried to time it and i kept messing it up bear in mind i haven't slept so if you want to take newcastle to that next step definitely use crushing it over franchise player right let's now first up talk about his passive his passive is is insanely good he can revive teammates and drag them um i i, I want to show you I'll, I'll have to use a clip from a previous game but it's currently 5 a.m., 5 5:20 uh, in the morning. I ain't got no friends online at this time, guys. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you a clip of it, and then I'm gonna explain how like how you how you relatively use it. Okay. So his knockdown shield, as you can see in the bottom left of my screen, I don't have any any knockdown shield. If I press equip on a knockdown shield, it will come up. Did you see that that 100%? Let me show you again. So I drop it pick it up 100% now that 100% is very you know is very key because what happens is is when you revive someone if someone shoots at you and then you go down you get the percentage of whatever's left of that knockdown shield so the knockdown shield I think is 750 say someone depletes it to 500 as you're reviving someone and then you go down you will have 500 to, to you know to defend yourself as opposed to the full 750 and obviously if they you know damage you more than than so on and so forth it's insanely good to to revive and drag and pull away from uh you can do multiple things such as you know drag them behind a rock you can spam pick it up and drop it down to you know confuse the enemy if they're trying to get around you or or, or you know shoot from afar um but what this also means his passive is so good what this means is newcastle in my honest opinion and i'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below he deserves the gold helmet for you know quick cooldown on on his shielding his ultimate he deserves backpack the, the the helmet can be you know give or take he deserves the gold backpack 
because reviving someone on the fly is insanely powerful and he also you know deserves the gold knockdown because if you think about it the gold knockdown has much more power than the blue and purple sh you know knockdown shields do now on to probably my favorite kit and might be my favorite ability in apex legends you know almost beaten out octane and bangalore's uh, double time but essentially what on earth was that shadow it throws out um, a shield like this and it lands and it will go in the same area that you're going. This is insanely, insanely good and insanely useful. You can move it as well so you can like return it and it is insanely good. It's insanely fun to use um, because you can basically do a lot of things with it. So let's kind of talk about what, what I would do with it. When you throw it out, it lasts for about 20 seconds and then it has a, it has a tw uh, 12, 10, 10, 12 second cooldown um, as, as, it's, as it's coming off cooldown. It is, it is, you can use this so much and it's so much fun. One way that I've been using it and I've been using it a lot is, is, is by, is by, if I'm, you know, if I'm got the circle behind me and I'm running from the circle, if I put it down and then I, you know, I, I send it over there, it's not going to move quick enough than me. But what's good is if I'm being chased by the circle, there's people in the circle, I can do this, bring it backwards and I can, and I can pop out and I can shoot left and right, uh, you know, and then I can really keep them in. Bear in mind, it's still going. 20 seconds is a long time, especially something like Apex Legends. And then look, as you see with the cooldown, 11 seconds i was wrong what did i say 10 11 seconds and it comes off cooldown and I, another thing that i've also noticed is if i throw the tactical as far as possible right and if i throw it in a certain way it will keep going as far as possible it will land there and it will keep keep going in a straight line um I can then set it to come back. I can set it to go forward. But what I mean is, is, is I launch it 50 meters, but I'm looking 80 meters. It will land at 50 and proceed to go to 75 meters. The shield itself is split into to two layers. So it's got the top half and the bottom half. Um, I don't know why, but the bottom half actually has less health than the top half. So you can shoot the top half out. It has about you know i think it's 300 hp and the bottom half has, has, has about 300 the ability to be in a fight win the fight and by the time that i'm getting third partied i have my my ability off cooldown so say for example i just got third party i can throw this down give us a little bit more to loot and i can follow it around if they like loop around a building i can then turn it etc etc one thing about newcastle is his tactical and his ultimate can be used both offensively and defensively so so, you know, I, I, I throw it down, right? I'm shooting as it's as it's going. I'm calling it forward. I'm calling it forward. And I can keep shooting. I can, I can keep applying pressure, but I've got a bit to reload and get cover on. Um, one thing I always say is that uh, the difference between a high-level player and a low-level player is the way that they move with cover and out of cover. So, you know, you sit there and you go like this, you'll shoot, you'll shoot, you'll get in cover, you'll reload. Um, I think it's the 60-40 rule where 60% uh, of the time you need to be in cover, 40% of the time you spend out of cover. I think it's the 60-40 rule. I can't remember. I'm not pro at this game. Um, but what this essentially does, it allows you to, 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 to stay in cover in those open grounds, which Storm Point is full of. So, it allows you to to, to to really keep that 60 40 rule another way as i said is to use it defensively to retreat so you can shoot you can shoot you can you can you can keep calling it back and then you can you can retreat back to a safe place is there anything i haven't covered please let me know in the comments below um i can't wait to see this you know the strats that they pull off um and i'm really excited for the community to kind of work with it and and and, and, and do some awesome clips and then lastly we have newcastle's ultimate newcastle's ultimate is is so fun as well not as fun as is tactical in my opinion but it's very good it really changes the battle now when you pull your ultimate out you get this you know your visor come down and you're able to to to, to get a cursor where you want to throw and what this does is when you throw it down you go fly in land and then you can you know shoot the enemies okay my aim ain't good but you can see that it's electri uh, electrified it slows and stuns enemies as they as they climb over so it shocks their screen similar to a emp from uh, from crypto uh, which which reminds me if crypto uses his ultimate on the shield it just takes away the electricity um 
the shield can be used in, in a multitude in a multitude of ways um it does wear off as you can see the the electricity um there is a lot of cover here um you have a window here a window here a window here and a window here it, it's it is really fun to use and you can go up to 35 meters from just throwing it you know across the way um so let me show you what i mean i, I again i don't have any friends so i i don't i won't be able to show you to the like to the point of what i mean but i can explain it to you so what i mean is here is i can throw my ult up to 30 yeah about 30 it's 35 meters okay however i can jump to a teammate that is 70 meters away 70 meters is double where i'm at right now so i would say 70 meters is 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 probably i would say to where that shadow is over there that's 80 meters so 70 meters it's an insanely fun ability to use the ability to you know make cover is insane and, and and it brings me back to the 60 40 rule to 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 bring that rule anywhere you go you know whether whether it's this way whether it's here whether it's here whether it's over here whether it's over here you can use it inside you can use it uh to cover large distances if you need to catch up with your team um the ability has a very fast cooldown um so just don't be afraid to use it um one thing i tried to do earlier and i'll put the clip in um is i tried to use my ult woman to escape the ring and ended up going three foot took way too long uh and unfortunately died to it so let's uh, let's have a look at that clip also with newcastle you can jump to you know further locations um you know as far as you can uh, and basically bring some nice covers which allows you to then you know shoot out you can reach higher levels you can jump high you can get the cover so so, so people are going to be looking at newcastle and saying well he's really good at creating cover in open area he's, he's really good at, at saving his teammates this is going to be really good to not only just get those high grounds but you could use this to jump on top of like the king's canyon near artillery onto the walls uh diving pool i think vix called it that shout out vix uh diving pool down to you know where um i can't remember the bloody names of it now it's slipping a manga guys i've been out for too long <laughs> um but you know what i mean like you, you you can get those high points those vantage points I also just want to add on quickly that Mad Maggie's tactical will go through the ultimate and also uh, Newcastle's passive as well. So let's talk about what guns I would use as Newcastle. Now, I have found that shotguns are really good because you can get up close and personal. You can use the shotguns, which will allow you to, you know, use your bubble to push with, your ultimate to kind of pop over the cover with if you want to rush someone. So shotguns are really good. The reason for that is you can shoot, pop down behind cover pop up and shoot pop down behind cover pop up and shoot the either you kind of got to stand there and go douche 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 you know um but the peacekeeper is is insanely good for that cover shoot cover shoot the r301 and the r99 will be your babies in this um swap out the flat line for the r301 if you if you want to obviously r301's in the replicator so a bit of a pain to get but the r301 or the flat line will be your go-to um the r99 is insanely good it always is um and then the alternator if you aren't a fan of the r99 p220 re45 get a bin onto the heavy guns wingman is an insanely good gun the ability to, to sh you know shoot long range to mid range get up close and use it as a short range pistol car and the flat line are another two big standouts um i like doing with the flat line and i said this in my octane guide i think it was on the bangalore guide um with the flat line i really enjoy doing a three times scope and having a two times scope in my backpack so i can change from a three times to a two times and just rotate between them i think it's insanely useful with newcastle who needs to go from that medium to you know up close and personal range so the flat line and the wingman and the car will be my options as a heavy weapon energy guns uh, the triple take will get a mention as very similar to the flat line the r301 going from the three times to the two times the triple take is insanely good for that using it as a you know as a mid-range sniper getting up close to personal using it as a shotgun the other one would be the the havoc the havoc is is unmatched for some reason it's just insanely good right now so you know be it be a bit dirty and use the havoc to get those kills get the you know get that rp essentially now this is my setup for a newcastle battle 
backpack. I like to run the flatline and the peacekeeper. I feel like it has a nice dynamic between the two. Four stacks of heavy ammo. You could probably stick with three and use, as I said, a two times scope in there so you can alternate between the two. Two stacks of shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo is super easy to find. Two shield batteries, two med kits. And now this one is up for debate. It's an ultimate accelerant. I love ultimate accelerants. I'm a huge fan of it. It's like having petrol in a survival game. You don't need it until you need it. I'm looking at you, Daisy. Four shield cells, four syringes. I, you don't need more than this. I'm a massive fan of grenades, so arc star thermites. Um, arc stars are really good with, with castle um, because you can basically throw down your Q. Keeping you, safe. you can then stick the shot. shield and you can watch it go. Grenades in synergy with Newcastle. So I'd definitely be using those. Um, but guys, let's jump into a game together. Let's play through one game so you can see how I play Newcastle in a game. And then we can talk about how, you know, what I could have done better, what I could have, you know, what I did really well. And we'll just see how it goes. There's one more kill for Newcastle. Texas clocking in, sending an Oxstar their way. Let's find this last guy. Just like that. Easy. Reloading. Make way and get down. I'm going to fly over here. go i'm gonna move it up here to get a little bit of uh so i've got 245 damage yet i've got three kills that's quite impressive to be fair i'll right, go back to the boxes that we just killed they're probably gonna go back and loot the boxes i got you here comes your protector And dead. So do you see what I did there? I I that was actually quite impressive if I if I say so myself. What I had done was I threw down the ability of keeping the enemies to my left and I was shooting the guy on the right. Um so it was really well done. Uh in, in, in my opinion that was insanely well played. Right. So again, I'm now I've got a lot of cover here, but they can shoot that down if they choose. If they choose, you know, choose to. We are in a spot of bother here. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Get, couldn't crash behind there. So I couldn't get behind there in time. That was that was frustrating. Um. You shouldn't probably have pushed that. That was quite a ballsy push, if I say so myself. Let's see if I can do the impossible, huh? Yeah, I don't think I have this. Good. I tried. I was super close, super close to getting there. Almost, almost pulled it off. It's nice to have shots. Uh, for some reason, shoot my box. But it doesn't matter. There wasn't much I could do there. You know, my abilities weren't useful in that little end game. I couldn't, there's no point me to bring down a shield. The healing wouldn't have helped me because there was three of them. It could have, you know, pincered me from all angles. But from it, you know, from it goes, 1700 damage dealt, five kills, two assists, isn't too bad. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did make it this far, please consider dropping a little, you know, a little subscription. As I said, it really does make my day. Thank you for watching all the way through as well. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm not sure who does, but if you do, honestly, thank you. Thank you so much. Until the next video, I'll see you later.